The tsunami watch and later the advisory could have affected many tourists because the state was advising people to get out of the water. But KITV's Daryl Huff joins us live from Oahu's south shore where the advisory had much less impact than you might think. Pamela, you know, that is, advisory is still having very little impact. We're standing alongside Ala Moana Beach. We take a look down the beach. You can still see there are quite a number of beachgoers in there. Today at Waikiki, when the appointed hour came, it was quite busy. In fact, despite the state's top civil defense official saying that people should not be in the water after noon, the shoreline and waters of Waikiki were packed. The city's fire department, police, and lifeguards made their coordinated announcement to Waikiki beachgoers at 1.30 p.m., 15 minutes after the first wave could potentially have made the water hazardous. There were dozens of novice surfers, children, and older people in the water. The announcement caused a brief few minutes of fear as people tried to call in their relatives. So I'm not sure how to take it, whether to take it seriously, but I assume they wouldn't go down making announcements like that if it wasn't. If there was any effect of the tsunami on the ocean, it was not apparent at Kuhio Beach, especially since it came at high tide anyway. Within a few minutes, the water was just as busy as before the announcement. We have to imagine that that water is still busy right now, pretty much this event passing without much notice. At 6 o'clock, we'll take a little bit closer look at the various different times the city was making this announcement and why people in Waikiki may have missed it. Reporting live from Waikiki, Daryl Huff, KITV4, Island Television News. Daryl, thank you. Initially, when the tsunami watch was issued this morning, Hawaii's harbors were put on alert. KITV's Catherine Cruz joins us with reaction from the boating community. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Pam. You know, boaters say when there's a hurricane, you take refuge in a harbor. With a tsunami, it's the other way around, and some boaters were preparing to head out to sea. At the Alawai today, some mariners were already plotting their exit strategy. So we'll be leaving uh, in about an hour, and we'll go out to sea. It'll be deeper water, and hopefully we'll be okay. Others were opting to ride out the expected tsunami on shore, but not after double lashing their vessels. Enrique Horta didn't want to take any chances that his boat would break away from its fixed mooring. If there is, a, let's say, a, a, a surge bigger than uh, we're expecting, it, it might wash away some boat that's not properly tied down. And that would be the biggest risk. Boats end up on top of yours. It would have to be a pretty sizable wave for it to really do any kind of impact. What we are concerned about is surges, uh, lots of water movement, and that's why we're asking everybody to please be careful when they're near the shoreline. By 11 o'clock, word had spread that the advisory had been canceled, and boaters here at Kehi Lagoon began to relax. Um, I just pack up like some of my personal stuff, you know, my laptop computer and some clothing and stuff like that, just so that I could you know, get out of here and, and, you know, get to a safer place. When one o'clock came around, there was little evidence of anything out of the ordinary. A little more lapping around the docks, maybe. There were a few boaters who ventured out, but no mass exodus of vessels. And even the canoe paddlers didn't seem to notice or miss a beat during a practice run. Reports out of Haleiwa Harbor indicated nothing eventful, and at Wainai's Boat Harbor, only a surge of about a foot, if even that. As for commercial ships in Honolulu Harbor, the state harbor master says, thankfully, activity was light today. There were no Matson ships in port. There was one grain ship and two cruise liners docked near Aloha Tower who began making plans to leave the harbor. But fortunately, they did not have to change their plans. Reporting live, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 Island Television News.